Hey, it's Rob from Mr. Homeowner. Uh, so we had a problem with our pool. Uh, this is a two horsepower uh, Pentair pool pump. Uh, and yesterday I noticed, as soon as I turned on the, the pump, it would just click. And then, uh, so I figured, ah, I'll check it out later. So today I came out, turned it on and it was humming. So after doing a little research, I found that if it's humming, it could be the capacitor that's sitting on top there. But it also sounded like maybe there was something jammed in the uh, in the impeller or something. So I cleaned out the uh, the basket real well. Um, there really wasn't that much in there. And uh, first, I cut the power off out here. Whenever you're messing with any of these, uh, use this. A um, you could check to make sure that there's no electrical going through. So you hit it. Nothing going on. Before I cut the power out, I'd get a beeping right here. So anyway, once the power's out, then you can start messing around with things. So again, first thing I did, clean that out, tried it again, still humming. So then, I looked under here, and found this capacitor, which if you can see, looks like it was about to blow up. So it was leaking really well and melting the plastic uh, little bezel around there as well, which is not in focus. So this morning when I woke up, I was thinking, oh geez, now I need a seven or $800 pump. And that went to, oh, maybe I could just replace the motor, which went to, hey, maybe it's the capacitor. Here's what they're supposed to look like. Nice and clean. Now this one is a little bit thinner and a tiny bit longer, but it will fit under there. You just want to make sure that the numbers match up. So what you would want to do, uh, this was $39 after tax. So what you want to do is, is bring your old one into your, your pool supply store. And uh, from there, they can match it up for you. You can see there's a little bit of a difference here. A little bit taller and a little bit less diameter. So let me uh, plug this in. Now there's two wires. Two wires here, which, uh, it's, there we go. Uh, it does not matter which wire goes on, each, on which prong here. You do want to make sure you do one on this side and one on this side. It could be any of the four. Just don't put both, don't put them, uh, both the wires on one side, you know. So go one here, one here, regardless of, of which prong you're, you're sticking it on. Again, make double sure that you have the power off. All right, let me plug this in and uh, we'll turn on the pool, see if it works. Be right back. Everything's plugged back in. I put the power on now. And here we go. There it is. $39 part. So everything's working again now, which is awesome. Because today, July 1st, I have the whole week off. I'm gonna do some swimming this week. I had some people coming over on the 4th. And now, I don't have to worry about trying to find a motor, or a pump, or anything. So I hope this saved you some money. Again, be very careful when you're uh, testing for uh, if there's current running through. Uh, here's what it would be, as long as I don't trip. So here's what it would be. Can you hear that? So if you hear the beeping, or whatever your tool does, test it out on some things that you know are hot, and then do it before, do it after you've cut the power, and then do it again, so you get uh, comfortable with it. So again, hope this helped uh, save you some money. 
I know it helped save my week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the other videos. Check out MrHomeOwner.com. Hit the subscribe button there, ring the bell, and share this uh, if you know anybody having this problem. We'll see ya.